Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Stephen Hammer, and uh, today I decided to come outside at the sunshine on this WCW Cruiserweight title that I have right here beside me. This WCW Cruiserweight title was made by Muhammad Nawaz overseas in Pakistan. This belt is not mine. It is not in my collection, but this was sent to me by one of my friends, one of my best friends that I've gained in the belt collecting community in the hobby. Ramundo Freeman, without him, this belt, this video would not be possible. So, thank you to my friend Ramundo for letting me borrow this belt temporarily so I could take some cool pictures, shoot some cool video, and then I will send this back home to you. He's got a really cool, awesome Rey Mysterio figure that goes with this belt. So, I'm happy to show this belt off and I will send it back to you as soon as I'm done. So, again, special thank you to Ramundo for letting me borrow this belt. A great human being a fantastic person especially loaning me this cruiserweight title you know belts are not cheap so i thank him for trusting me with this cruiserweight title and uh once this video was done i'll be sending it back to you but first let's get into the video and i'll show you guys exactly what you can expect when you order a belt from muhammad nawaz and here is a close-up look at this wcw cruiserweight title out here in the sun the sun is shining on them gold plates looks really nice up at the very top of the belt, you will see the WCW logo in the background and the uh, the gold etched. You will see the black world banner and the black wrestling champion banner at the top and at the bottom. In the middle of the belt is one of my favorite things where it says cruiserweight in red. I really like that a lot. I think that looks really cool. So you do have your standard globe in the middle of a wrestling belt, which is one of my favorite things a wrestling belt can have. But... The cruiserweight in red in the background highlighting this is for the cruiserweights is a really nice touch. I like that a lot. So this is really cool. You got your columns and stuff like that in the design in the main plate, which is really cool. Very simple. I like this a lot. So, of course, you do have like your little spikes at the bottom of the main plate and at the top of the plate as well. Those are kind of cool. I like that a lot. You can tell this is a Jamar made belt just due to the, the font that was used on this belt. These side plates right here are kind of interesting because they are actually long compared to some other wrestling belts that you see are that are more like square or circle. These ones are more like a rectangle. So that's different to see this on a wrestling belt to see, you know, side plates that are long like that. And for anyone curious, the plates on this belt, they are three millimeters zinc. The leather on this belt is standard Muhammad Nawaz leather with a press stamp in the snap box with a full gold belt tip, okay? Leather looks like this. It kind of just flops down. It's, it's really flimsy. It's really flexible, as you can see right there, okay? Yeah, this is standard Muhammad Nawaz leather with the stamped snap box, and like just stamped in as like a pattern. All that texture is not hand texture. All that texture is there to imitate hand tooling, but it's actually just a stamp that they use to press down and create perfect holes and a perfect lineup for a snap box. So there you go. There is no stamp, no maker stamp. I don't think Nawaz has ever put a stamp on the end of his belts, but there you go. There is no stamp on the end. Plain black backing. I think this belt would look really cool if it had red backing. Just plain red on the back of that, or maybe even like a blue. I think that would look really cool. Here's how the belt folds up. Just like that. Looks really fantastic in the light. I know this video is a little bit different compared to most of my other videos that are usually inside in my little office, but the sun was shining outside. It looks beautiful. I wanted to try something different. Let the sun sparkle on the plates a little bit, see what it looks like. So it was just something different. I don't know if I'll continue with this style or not, but I thought it looked really cool. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.